rolling, boys. We rolling. Pray we're gonna make it there. Hey there, back, Mr. Wayne. Think we're gonna make it? Hey. Only the good Lord knows, and I got faith in him, so I believe we're gonna make it with no problem. Did we have any problems getting this thing out of there, getting it ready? Getting it ready, we had problems, but getting it out of there, uh-uh. He uh, hooked to it and brought her out with no problem. We got a good driver there, he's good. That he is. We told him don't look back, just keep on rolling. That's it. We no matter it. what, we drag it on the axle. That's right, he's heading that way. This is, Wayne is an amateur. This is first time to ever be on a loader. Look what we got set up for the sawmill, y'all. Friend of mine blessed me with this loader. Made me an awesome deal. Could not pass up. We got something to unload logs off trucks now. Now we just gotta learn how to run it. Well, Wayne does. I know how to run it. But it's an old machine. But it's, it's, it needs some work, but it's a tough old machine. We'll see what we can do with it.
right, y'all. It's a couple days later. I got a lot of people asking me, why do I want that big loader? Something so big, especially Jared. But guys, it's so much easier not to have to haul the tractor back when you're hauling logs over here to be able to unload them with that loader. Yeah, we don't need nothing that big, but what it does, it opens the door to where we can get 18 wheelers in here and unload them. I mean, you had to have something like this to unload the logs off the 18 wheeler. And that way you can buy the logs when you get into buying and need some logs. You gotta have something to unload them and that'll help us out a lot. But that's what it's here for. I'm sure we'll find other uses for it. I know on the big logs, getting them on the sawmill, I can actually set them on the front of this LT-15 right here. I can set them on the log deck from where it's at. And that's, that's why we kind of put it where it's at. It actually needs to be moved over closer to it, just probably a couple feet, because when you come between there and the, on the other side, when you pass between the house, the actual trailer, and the loader, you've rarely got enough room to pass on through there with the uh, 16 foot six by six. And, and it's a little tight coming through there. So we might try to figure out a way to move it over, which is not easy. I was told you take the loader and stick it out the back. It takes all the weight and puts it, kind of evens it out to where you can pick it up in the front with your tractor and move it. But that's what the, uh, the plan is. Just nice to have something bigger to work with makes our job a lot a lot easier now that's what this is all about a little little bit at a time you can't get into it wide open it just takes one piece at a time well, guys i hope you enjoy this video and i'm fixing to go feed animals but i'm gonna put it on a separate video we got a bunch of babies in there look for it coming up the goats got a pile of babies in there and i'll show that to y'all god bless i'll catch you on the next one bye bye